Hey everyone, in this video I am going to be spray painting camo on my 1022 charger. I went ahead, broke down the whole gun. It's pretty easy to do. If you don't know how, just look it up. Uh, I took the trigger assembly out, trigger group. I'm just going to set that aside. I'm not going to worry about trying to paint that. Um, I have the, the barrel um, just nice and decreased and taped up so no paint gets in the innards. And I got this knockoff. MRO all taped up ready to go and yeah in this paint job I am going to be using uh, tape stencils to um, create some of the shapes and this is a pretty pretty solid proven way to make some some nice camo patterns is just put some painters tape on both sides of some parchment, some wax paper, and you cut it out with an X-Acto and you have some solid, crisp shapes. And I am going this route instead of the soap, the dish soap as I used in my last video because frankly, I don't trust this, this cheap optic to be waterproof or not waterproof. Um, and I do wanna paint the optic. I because it's just going to stay on this 22. I trust it enough for a 22. I don't think the recoil is going to be messing with it too much. But yeah, so everything's degreased, taped up. And along with the tape stencils, I'm going to be using some jagged strip of t-shirt. And I have this pantry, this pantry cabinet liner. So it's got kind of a cool pattern there it's a little different than like a regular laundry mesh bag so you'll see how i use that later on i'm basically going to wrap that around the gun all right the first thing i'm going to do is put some some light marks of some mesh with some sangria <clears throat> I'm just doing this so when I put down the tape, the the tape, it the black tire stripes just have a little more flavor to it, you know what I'm saying? All right, we went ahead and spilled a little bit of sangria on the black, and now we're ready for the stencil, for the stickers that will act as a stencil. And basically I have, I wrapped the gun with some ribbon to kinda simulate what it's gonna look like with the t-shirt and mesh, so I can place the stripes on at the right, the same angle because you want these stripes to kind of go with the flow of the other colors and also since it's going to be wrapped it's going to be kind of like the reverse on either side we have all of the tape stickers peeled at least the first layer and the reverse side the reverse image or mirror image on over here so and i what i ended up doing was after I laid them out and figured out where I was going to put them, I numbered them. So anyway, that way I know I go just left to right, left to right. And yeah, so make sure you have clean hands doing this. You don't want to get grease on your already clean degreased gun unless you're one of those kind of greasy neck beards then put on a pair of latex gloves um what can i tell you so first off i am going to start with kind of the keystone sticker that's going to go like right here in the middle right here a that's going to be 
the focal point, one of the focal points of the gun, and it's also going to tie into um, the magazine for a smooth transition. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this ribbon because I know, you know what, how about I just kind of do this. Um, I'll just kind of mark so I kind of know like, all right, this is kind of the angle that the the um, other stripes are going, or this is the angle I want these stripes to go because everything else is kind of, is going to flow that direction. All right, and I'm just going to work left and right of this keystone sticker. So I might go ahead and lightly stick some of these where I previously had them just to make sure spacing's good before I commit. All right, this side is stickered, stenciled, whatever you want to call it. All right, we are now ready to paint our first solid coat. We have the uh, stencil stickers all laid out. Got some nice interlocking stickers there. And yeah, this process does take a little bit of time. That's why using dish soap can be preferable just because of how easy it is. But to be honest, I think this will make some better sh tire stripes in the end. So with that said, let's get to spraying. Just do nice even coats. Smart to wear some gloves at this stage. Now let that dry some and then just do a couple smaller light passes just to make sure it's all solid. If you spray too hard then you're going to end up getting bleeding underneath your stickers. So don't push it, don't rush it, take your time. Alright we have a dry two coats of the gray. And as you can see, I have the cut up t-shirt and the cut up strips of cabinet liner wrapped around in a spiral going the same directions as the, the sticker stripes. I took the optic and the magazine off. I cut them. I cut the stickers off where they met the gun, so I didn't peel any stickers off yet. Keep the stickers on. And obviously it's just going to be easier to wrap the gun with those two protruding objects not on the gun anymore. I'm going to be painting, misting mostly, and putting some stripes of this color here, which is a matte beach glass interesting name all right
All right, here is the charger with the bandages taken off, unwrapped. Still has the stickers on there, so there's still some black underneath waiting to be revealed, but that looks pretty slick. So now the paint the optic and the magazine. I'm just gonna place the optic basically where it would sit on the rail. I want to continue the stripes that are from the gun onto the optic so there's a nice consistency going on. I'm not gonna wrap the optic, I'm just gonna do one side at a time. I wanna follow, this is where the shirt was. Charger out of the way. Set this aside to dry before I flip it again. Magazine's about here. I'm just gonna work off that single piece. Try to follow the stickers since the magazine follows a different um, orientation kind of. All right, this custom tiger stripe paint job is done. I am happy with these results. Let me tell you, I'm real happy I went ahead and put some highlights of this magenta within the black. I really love how it stays in the shapes and interacts with the blue half tones there, the different dots. A little variety there. It's always nice to paint an optic, have it tie into your the rest of the gun. Little details there that make things pop out. Pattern wraps around. Pretty sweet. I did go ahead and put a couple layers of a matte clear coat uh, Krylon, I believe, and I think that helps protect the protects the paint, and you really can't tell there's a finish to it. the The overhead lights put a bit of a glare to it, but it's it's a pretty matte finish. But yeah, for a 22 Plinkster, I just wanted a fun camo job, something you might see in Call of Duty or some shit. But I'm into it. If you want something that's a more realistic camo, just sub out the colors. Get some tan, get some green, some brown. Work it out. But thanks for watching. And let me know what you think. Take it easy.